Satotera. Doctors practice ndio show. Hill Park ndio mali penye tuko. Uh-huh. Tulisema kama ujui Hill Park wewe hama Nairobi. Ah <laughs> uh, ni Dr. Nzioki. Uh, standing in for GB Gadu. Uh, yuko mali ana ana prepare ndio next time akuja hapa achachishe kabisa. Yeah. Um, tuko bado tu na ile mbogi yangu. Uh-huh. Karo. Yeah. Uh, senior nurse, midwife uh-huh. na fellow uh-huh. nutritionist. Uh-huh. Ngoje tuko sawa. Poa yeah. poa nzi okay. Eh yeah. tangu last week. Tu <laughs> tuko na energy. Tuko na energy. Oh, sisi yeah, tumekuja ku recap. Tumekuja ku recap. Mm. Yeah bado tuko kwa hiyo mood ya recapping. Mm. Maana kuna show tuliwaletea zilikuwa na info moto moto. Ah mm-hmm. uh, mkachukua hiyo info na kuna zingine zenye mliturushia mkasema hebu ongeeni juu ya story tena. Mm. Mm. Swali hapa mm-hmm. and uh, vitu zingine moto moto fellow alisema. So leo ah uh, tungependa tu ku kuongea tu about vile lifestyle ina impact health. Mm. I mean, the truth is that atwezi ignore the fact that maisha imebadilika. Sure. Si vile grandfather yangu alikuwa mm. anaamka asubuhi anakamua mm-hmm. mbuzi mm. alafu anaenda kwa shamba mpaka mm. lunch time yes. anakula tu gidheri. Mm. Life imebadilika. <laughs> uh-huh. Na definitely iko na impact on our health. Mm. Sijui tukianza na wewe fellow Um especially tukiongea story ya nutrition mm. ime impact aje our health mm. uh, i think ku ya kena broader view eh? mm-hmm. lifestyle is just generally in a simplest way mm. how we live mm-hmm. in every single day mm-hmm. and our living depends on what we eat mm-hmm. and how we use that energy okay mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Now mm. in how we live and use energy mm-hmm. when we come to how we use energy it comes on food mm-hmm. but unapata people have changed to more of a faster lifestyle mm-hmm. they want quicker things mm-hmm. quicker food mm-hmm. something easy to eat mm-hmm. so long as nimeshiba niko sawa yeah. and people are tending more to sugary food unapata si semi soda ni mbaya mm-hmm. but too much of everything mm-hmm. is dangerous yeah. mm-hmm. si semi chips ni mbaya mm-hmm. but too much of something is also dangerous dangerous, dangerous. Mm-hmm. so when i take more of the sodas the, mm-hmm. i call them sugary food mm-hmm. the juice says the sodas mm-hmm. or anything mm-hmm. i'm bringing my body to too much sugar mm-hmm. that the body is not going to use at that time mm-hmm. remember the ukionja ugali mm-hmm. ambo waonje mchele mm-hmm. Mm. na ukunywe soda mm. ama ukunywe ile chai kuna sukari mingi mm-hmm. utamwa mm-hmm. ile ugali ama mchele mm. ni tofauti na ile soda yeah, yeah. basi unapata ile sukari ile keki ile soda mm. italeta sukari mingi kwa wakati mmoja mm. yenye mwili haitachukua mm. mwili kuchukua sukari ama nguvu ile inatoka kwa chakula mm. ile tumbo ikishaishaga inatoka kwa kitu inaitwa glucose mm. I glucose itenda kwa mishipa ya damu. Mm-hmm. Ikaenda kwa mishipa ya damu karibu na tumbo pale kuna kiungu ambayo inaitwa pancreas. Mm-hmm. So pancreas inatoa maji yake na inaitwa insulin. Mm-hmm. Basi itaambiwa kuna nguvu imetolewa kwa chakula pale mm-hmm. iko kwa damu kama glucose. Mm-hmm. Itatoa ile maji yake insulin iende pale shikane nayo mm-hmm. ndio ipeleke kwa mwili tumie kama, kama energy. Mm-hmm. So kumaanisha ukikula hizi soda every day, mm-hmm. we lunch yako ni soda na mkate. Mm-hmm. Eh? Mm-hmm. Unapata you are overworking the pancreas. Mm-hmm at a certain age most people mm. ukifika 30 years 35 years of age mm. mwili inaanza kuchoka kama mm-hmm. ni kulema uwezi lema vipasavyo mm. basi umeoverwaki pancreas mm. so much mm. that sasa inaanza kukataa kutoa insulin ile insulin inavyotakikana mm. ama zile cells zinaanza mm. kuresist insulin mm. kwa sababu itolee vizuri mm. basi unapata ile sukari haitaenda kwa mwili inavyotakikana mm. itabaki pale kwa mishipa ya da mm. na italeta ile ugonjwa wa sukari mm. Mm. Hii sukari ikibaki pale muda mrefu ikiwa mm. juu mm. unapata inaanza kuchoma zile mishipa ya damu mm. 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 ikichoma zile mishipa ya damu mm. basi inazuia ile damu kutembea jinsi inavyotakikana mm. itabidi moyo ipige konde kwa kasi sana mm. na ile pressure itakuwa juu ndio okay. maana diabetic na pressure is correlated yeah. italeta ugonjwa wa figo kwa sababu zile mishipa za figo pia mm. zinaumia pale mm. Mm. na kilo ikiwa juu bado inaleta hizi ugonjwa zinakuwa mingi because mm. ukikula chakula zaidi mm. kama hizi chakula zina mafuta mm. inafanya mafuta zina enea sana kwa mwili mm. ile inaitwa cholesterol mm. ile cholesterol mbaya ikienda juu mm. inafiziba zile mishipa tena mm. italeta ile shida ya pressure mm. pressure ikiwa juu moyo inagonga kwa kasi zile misuli mm. za moyo zinalegea mm. shida mm. za moyo 
Mm. Alafu unakula hizi vitu ziko na a lot of preservatives which mm. the body doesn't require mm-hmm. or you're using things like electronics that has a lot of waves and that's why I say if you're using a microwave mm. using a microwave is not bad mm. but those waves can affect yourself mm. so move to sen- two meters away from the mm. microwave mm. see it ukae pale mm. ukikula hizi spices mm. go to spices with mm. more of the natural spices mm. to prevent affecting yourself because as ile umekula ile kitu si chakula mm. inafanya cell yako in in I recognize mm-hmm. na inaanza ku react against it mm-hmm. so anything that is not healthy that mm-hmm. is not as natural as possible mm-hmm. tend to avoid it and if okay. you have to take it mm-hmm. take it in moderation yeah. to avoid this lifestyle diseases asante maybe asante. Uh, kama mm-hmm. nizo ongezea mm-hmm. something kidogo tu uh, mm-hmm. kidogo tu ambayo mm-hmm. Felix amesema mm-hmm. ni kwamba with the lifestyle changes mm-hmm. that have happened mm-hmm. as we rightly umesema kwamba mm. wa, wa baba zetu walikuwa mm. naenda kwa shamba mm. walikuwa nakamua mm. size kila kitu it's within our reach mm. utaenda supermarket hata chakula mm. imetayarishwa mm. si ndio haujui mm. imetayarishwaje but mm. because mm-hmm. there's something to eat and mm-hmm. fill your stomach mm-hmm. then you tend to eat that mm-hmm. but what do you do you mm-hmm. will get that food mm-hmm. weke netflix mm-hmm. si ndio unywe mm-hmm. miguju mm-hmm. uwach ukule mm-hmm. so lack of physical yes. lack of no physical exercise, activity yes. mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. even walking is a mm-hmm. challenge you mm-hmm. don't want to walk you have your car there lakini unataka so kutembea unataka kutembea nairobi nairobi utatembea wapi Uh, Nairobi unaweza enda kwa park utembee. At least tutaona tengeneza <laughs> park. Hapa hivi Uhuru Gardens mm. utembee. Eh? Hapa una... kwenu kwa estate tunaweza mwa kutembea. Hakuna hakuna mali ya kutembea kwa estate. Naweza sema kitu hapo daktari. Eh. Mm-hmm. Unapata mm-hmm. a physical activity. Mm-hmm. Yeah is any activity that helps the body kutumia excess energy mm-hmm. so anything that make you sweat mm-hmm. hata ukitembea pale ukunje manguo uoshe yes. vyombo pale mm-hmm. ufagie nyumba panda mm-hmm. ama panda stairs shuka mm-hmm. ama hata ufanye kuna siku hizi hata kama ni yolo life or soft life mm-hmm kwa wale watu wako na youtube eh yeah. kuna exercises mm, food cardio, <laughs> indo, cardio. Indo exercises Uta, utafute yoga mat yeah. yako hey. uh, 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 ufanye squat cardio, uh, uh, jump mm. kitu kama hizo hey. mm. hizo vitu zote skipping mm. rope yeah. mm. mm. lakini my point is yes uh, our environment yeah. vile iko yes. with urbanization footpath ni vitu juzi mm-hmm. wameanza kutengeneza mm-hmm. lakini hata kuangalia mali penye unataka kutembea yeah. inakuwa inakuwa ni ngumu yeah um our environment pia ina affect our, affect. Our, our health it has, mm-hmm. sure it it has. Uh, in, in i can way? say it mm-hmm. has very mm-hmm. much like mm-hmm. uh, i can give an example mm-hmm. size utaona watoto wadogo maybe yako mm-hmm. 7 years na kwa mm-hmm. siji 70 kg mm-hmm. simply because hakuna mahali ya kucheza mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and then because sisi pia tunataka ku protect watoto wetu mm-hmm. sana Mm-hmm. utawabaya all the toys mm-hmm. in the house mm-hmm. so wanakaa tu kwa nyumba hawaombi mm-hmm. watoki nje waende wacheze of course mm-hmm. people have also become very bad mm-hmm. you unacha mtoto wako na neighbor ujui mm-hmm. anamfanyia nini yeah, yeah. so we, we've become so mm-hmm. independent mm-hmm. to the fact that we don't want our kids to go outside and play yeah, yeah, yeah. or we don't want our kids we want mm-hmm. them within our vicinity mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as long as wako mahali tunajua tunawaona yeah, then we yeah. are very comfortable yeah. yes so it's unfortunate that size space hakuna ya watoto yeah. kucheza hata yeah, yeah. shule unapata shule iko lakini hakuna space ya kucheza mm-hmm. watoto hata hawakubaliwi probably even to go for swimming or any, mm-hmm. anything mm-hmm. so it's shule mm-hmm. back home mm-hmm. Akuna pl- so environment it may to affect so much it's mm-hmm. true mm-hmm. and uh, with a lot of urbanization as well eh? mm-hmm. yes which we need to go back and find out with our roots why why are our parents wa may stay for we long stay for lo- uh-huh. without so many issues yeah, yeah. lakini sisi watoto wetu from mm-hmm. attender age wameshaanza kushikwa na so many issues mm-hmm. yes so mm-hmm. exercise is very important mm-hmm. i agree Mm. Mm. good good points me raise so ukiwa hapo nyumbani mm. uh, kuna hizi social media handles ziko hapa chini you can follow us unaweza comment useme what challenges do you mm. face mm. when it comes to uh, you want to be physically active mm. but what challenges do you face mm. what suggestions can you give mm. to your mca mm. what suggestions can you give to your mp uambie we need better footpaths we need playgrounds for our children we need you know mm-hmm. what things do you need that you think will help you to become more physically active and hence healthier asante sana social media handles apa chini you can follow us uh, something else yenye maybe maybe ningependa kuuliza just related to that physical activity how much is enough si wote twende gym tuinue chuma tukimbie marathon 
Kinjie 10 kilometers a day. How much? How much physical activity is enough? What What is very important is for you to start by doing a BMI or a weight analysis versus your height. Can of worms you may fungue. Kwanza tuambie. Uh, uh, BMI is a basic mass index. Eh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So what it means is uh-huh. that nimeangalia weight yangu, mm. tuseme weight yangu imekuja ni 90, mm-hmm. nimeangalia height yangu ni 160. Mm-hmm. And so it is calculated your weight against mm-hmm. your height. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Na from there utaambiwa mm-hmm. kama BMI yako mm-hmm. ni ya mtu ambaye ni overweight, mm-hmm. mtu ambaye ni underweight mm-hmm. ama BMI yako iko within the normal. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we normally say an uh, 20 Five, that mm-hmm. is a normal BMI. Mm-hmm. Above 25 to 28 mm-hmm. is overweight. Mm-hmm. If we go to 30 and mm-hmm. above, that is obesity. obesity yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then below 25, uh, up to 18, we normally mm-hmm. say that's underweight. Mm-hmm. So I cannot say that uh, now you need to just go to the gym and now because mm-hmm. umambiwa weight yako iko nyingi sana just go to the gym. Mm-hmm. You need to even have an instructor who mm-hmm. is going to take you through because again, mm-hmm. we want to know how is your what is the weight you're supposed to come down to mm-hmm. so that w- your body is now functioning functioning mm-hmm. to a normal mm-hmm. as as expected yes yo bi ama ina pimwanga wapi okay ina pimwanga wapi nikiongezea tuambie tuambie ina pimwanga wapi ina pimwanga eh wapi ndio ina pimwanga vile karo amesema bi ama ni body mass index ndio yes hii body mass index unapata watu wengi wanaenda kwa street eh wana pima eh measure your weight measure your weight tunajua hizo machine oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. si staki kusema ni mbaya yes <laughs> staki kusema ni mbaya yes. mm-hmm. but i always say mm-hmm. anything that is going to impact your health for a positive mm-hmm. way mm-hmm. go for a health professional mm-hmm. endo mm-hmm. sipitali mm-hmm. kwa sipitali ukienda pale the first room kuna kwa na kitu inaitwa charge room mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kwa charge room mm-hmm. unapata kona nesi pale mm-hmm. ama ni daktari. Mm-hmm. Na nurse pale ako na mashini ya pressure mm-hmm. na pia kuna ile ya kupima weight. Mm-hmm. Basi ya kupima weight atakwambia mm-hmm. toa kiatu yako au toe utoe koti ama nini kwa sababu unapata zile za street mm-hmm. unapanda na kila kitu uko nayo. Uh-huh, na uh-huh. unapata ki pale na kilo simu yeah. pale na kilo tao yeah. tao, tao, tao utaacha simu chini yeah. eh unaita ama ama umetoka soko utaacha hapo chini hawezi so enda pale atakupima in a professional way yeah. utapanda yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. akuone kilo mm-hmm. na pime height mm-hmm. kuna zile mashini ambayo zina pima hiyo BMI mm-hmm. inafanya automatically yeah. Yeah. but in case hakuna mashini Mm-hmm. ile weight yako inafaa kwa current weight si uniambie mm-hmm. last week nilikuwa 20 hapana yeah, yeah. ile current, current weight, weight in kgs mm-hmm. over your height in mm-hmm. meter squared yes. mm-hmm. then tunapata ile ranges vile amesema mm-hmm. if the range is below 18.5 mm-hmm. you are underweight mm-hmm. if the range is 18.5 to 24.9 mm-hmm. you are normal mm-hmm. 25.1 to 29.9 mm-hmm. you are overweight mm-hmm. 30.1 to 40 obese and 40 mm-hmm. and above very obese so, but the so, other thing so fellow chankulize mm-hmm. tunasema weight nyingi ni mbaya. Kwa hivyo mm-hmm. ni target kwa less than 18.9. No, no, Underweight no. zamani no, no, no. magonjwa ziko huko mbali. No, no, no. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> being overweight kuna kitu inaitwa malnutrition. Yes, yes. So malnutrition mm-hmm. ni kuchukua chakula mingi zaidi inayofaa inaweza mm-hmm. kufanya kuwa overweight mm-hmm. ama cha kuchukua chakula kidogo mm-hmm. chini ya ile inayofaa mm-hmm. ikufanye kuwa underweight. Mm-hmm. Ukiwa underweight mm-hmm. unapata umelaka madini moja ama mbili ama tatu. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. chances ya mwili kufanya kazi inavyopaswa ni ngumu. Yes. Mm-hmm. So immunity yako inakuwa chini mm-hmm. ukiwa overweight chances of lifestyle diseases are high. Yes. Na exercise nikimalizia hapo mm-hmm. a normal exercise should be 30 minutes to 1 yeah. hour. Yes. But angalia ile exercise Kilo unafanya siku. at least yes. no, tunasemaga mm-hmm. have at least two to three resting day ikiwa nyingi mm-hmm. but inafaa kuwa consecutive mm-hmm. okay. and then the other thing is do exercise with a reason either you are overweight because, because utakuwa overweight mm-hmm. unaenda kuinua chuma na you are gaining more muscles mm-hmm. or reduce yes. mm-hmm. so also seek a professional guys ah, i advise exactly. asante yeah. uh, tukifunga hii session uh, message jua BMI yako mm. jua BMI yako mm-hmm. BMI si bread milk na injera <laughs> <laughs> body mass index yes. jua BMI yako yeah. na ukijua BMI yako itakuwezesha ku objectively lose weight mm. yes. okay hapa oh. tukiwa doctors practice will be right back after the break and grab your snack yako and sure it's a healthy snack <laughs> <laughs>